Today, we're taking this map that was submitted by Alexandre and TURNING OFF THE LIGHTS MAP DOCTOR MAP DOCTOR So Alexandre emailed me with the Map Doctor subtitle, which is what you guys should do if you want your maps featured in one of these episodes, but he sent me a picture of this old abandoned house, so I replied, Haunted, abandoned, or old, abandoned? And that's when he said, It's an old abandoned house, but it's now being used for some dark magic experiments. That's why there's blood, coffin, torches, that sort of stuff. Um, he also said that the holes in the floor are designed around a jumping system that he's developed in the game. So I'm not really going to touch any of that. In fact, I'm not touching much of the map at all. See, for this episode, instead of just going over the entire map and redoing it, I'm going to show you how by adding in different lighting effects, you can level up your design. See what I did there? The tile set by default is very light. So what I did was turn off the lights and make it dark. To start off with, I erased some of the shadows as beams of light coming through the windows and then just lightened up the room a bit. I then went about creating some hard shadows for the box in front of this next window and the Iron Maiden. <laughs> I then spent some time selecting the area around the outside of the Iron Maiden so I could have a shadow or a light beam come down from the window and stop at the Iron Maiden. I didn't want it to go over the top of her. And then afterwards I lightened up her edges to make it look like the light was indeed coming from behind her and stopping. I brushed in some white beams of light coming through the window and then I copied and pasted the different panes in the window. Then I inverted them vertically and placed them on the floor in front of the windows, especially the window that had the curtain. I just had to change the reflective light to make it look like there was a curtain covering it. Then it was a matter of messing around with the lighting and the shades until I was happy with it before moving on to the next room. I actually added in a bunch of color lighting as well, but I'll show you guys how I did that towards the end of the video. The next room was quite simple. I had a window coming from the left hand side of the room so I erased light from that direction and then just had beams of light coming through from that direction as well as copying and pasting one of those window pane light beam things and placing that in front of that window. To finish it off I just added some hard shadows around the boxes, the broken pot and finishing up by adding darker shadows in the corners of the room. Starting on the bottom hallway, I put the window on the left hand side. Same sort of thing we've already been doing, so not too much to say there. What I did do though was grab a bunch of torches and copy and paste them all along that uh, bottom hallway wall. And then I erased the shadow around them and gave them a orange tint. I should have said an orange tint. You always use the word an when your following word starts with a vowel. I erased some of the shadow for the windows that would be protruding light into the room from the south of the room. Then copied and pasted those window pane reflections and stretched them out a bit as they hit the wall. Let there be light. Now, for the sake of me not saying the same thing over and over again for each different room we go into, I'm going to speed through the lighting phase of each room, and I'll come back to you guys when it's time to make some colour. Some ambient. Actually, just before I speed montage through the next bit, I should probably let you guys know that I've dropped my website. The link to my website will be in the description of this video. There's no domain name yet because I'm about as broke as Humpty Dumpty. I've been working on a tile set for the last few months and I'm planning to announce it soon, but in celebration of that announcement, that I haven't done yet, I'm giving away all of my previous assets for free. So open up the website in a new tab and head over there after this video to get yourself some free assets. Back to the video. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just 
slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said no, man, I still go now through that montage you probably noticed some purple lighting around this map. That's because what I did was I took these white beams of light and I added some purple tints to them as well as just adding a purple tint to the rooms. The reason I did this was because when Alexandre said that this was a sort of magical abandoned place it was used for being it was used for magical experiments. I wanted to give this sort of mysterious ambience and the way to do that is by different color lighting. If it was haunted, I could have gone with a green tint or even a white tint with lower saturation, but just by playing around with the colors, I can give this a more mystical feel to it. This is what it looks like without the color. This is what it looks like with the color. Both look good, but this definitely adds a bit more ambiance. But hold up a secuet. If you think that we're done here, then you're making a bigger mistake than my conception. <laughs> So we're in the engine here and we've got the map loaded into the game. This is good, but we can still level this up. And this is to go even further beyond. What you need to do is make an event over the top of the torch, go over to image, scroll down to flame, select this and then go stepping animation on. And hit apply. Copy and paste this over all of the flames. Over in Photoshop, I'm going to export this image without the flames the torches attached. You'll notice that these flames are now animated, and there's also a little flicker of light coming from them. I'm going to Google a squeaking floorboard sound effect for free, obviously. Fuck me. Then I'm going to add a few squeaky floorboard sound effects into the game. How am I going to do that? Watch. I'm going to double click on a spot, let's say this spot right here, and it's going to be priority below characters, trigger, player touch. And whenever the player touches, it's going to run the event command, play, sound effect. And here's the squeaking floor that I just downloaded. And I'm going to copy and paste this in a couple of places around the house. Now, if we play the game, whenever we walk over those creaking floorboard spots, It's still really quiet other than that squeaking floorboard. It's time for music. You can go to websites like Pixabay and find royalty-free ambient music, space mp3 download to use for YouTube for free, and you can scroll through their selection of royalty-free stuff to add to your game. In the map settings you can have a BGM as well as a BGS. That's background music and background sound. So I went with both. I went with an ambient that I found on the website. as well as a somber song. Fusion them into... Don't forget, if you guys would like one of your maps to be featured in a Map Doctor video, then send an email to levelupdes at gmail.com with the subline Map Doctor. Also, don't forget to check out my website, link in the description, so you can pick up your free RPG Maker assets. Catch.